Yes, that is absolutely the case. 2020 has not exactly been a smooth year when it comes to love. And dating has changed by leaps and bounds, and it's becoming harder and harder to trust or go on a decent date, especially when you're doing it online. Well, not to worry, our love expert, Brad Swanson, is here this morning. How are you? I'm great. How are you? <laughs> I'm good. All right. But it's so true, Brad. And you're even laughing when I say 2020 has not been easy That's correct. in the world of dating. Why is that? Why has it become so much harder? Well, I think, honestly, first of all, this year has been crazy with all of the, mm -hmm. the regular stuff, right? So I think it's really pushing people to face themselves, look at what's going on in their life. Um, it's challenging them in a way that is a good thing, but it's... Uh, when, you're, when you start really looking at emotional stuff, people get triggered easily. And then when yeah. it comes to romance, you know, people are either in tight situations where, you know, the, the being locked down with their significant other or being by yourself. So it's been exacerbated, you know? Yeah. Yeah. You're, you're, it's just, it's amplified. Whatever, whatever you're at is getting amplified, basically. I think you're absolutely right. And yeah. people seem to be a little bit on the fence, just a tad bit more because of the situation. When you're going into a new relationship, what are some strategies, people, maybe like a certain mentality or something that going into a brand new relationship that I think a lot of people yeah. don't do in the beginning? I would say the biggest thing is to just let go of all your expectations. Okay. Um, you know, I was just having an interaction with someone that's really important to me, and um, it's, we all have these things that we're holding on to from the past that we don't even know we're holding on to. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because of childhood, because of what our parents taught us, because of a divorce that we saw, because of, you know, whatever you mm -hmm. saw growing up. And if you really look at those things and you start to ask questions about that, they will start to come forward where you can see them and then actually like have a healing where sure. it can come forward. You can recognize it and go, oh wait, that's this conversation that's been happening that I didn't even know like I had this kind of running in the background that I can let that go and you know what let me just be present with this person to see if we even connect right, right? instead of being right. like having a checklist of going um oh do they have this much money do they do this do this like like just wow. get to know them like genuinely get to know them genuinely, as a person and yeah. you might actually find hey I'm really attracted to them I really like them as a person yeah I've got brothers and oh my gosh it always seems like it starts off good, yeah. and the infatuation phase, everything's amazing, and right. then all of a sudden it's like, boom, this person is crazy. Yes. Why does that happen? Because we miss, if, if that's happening, it's because you're missing, you're missing red flags, you're missing signals that are there, because people, we, I mean, you know, granted, everybody has issues, but you can't, you can't let your attraction, I was, this is a big one for men, okay, I can, this is a big one for men, mm -hmm. is that a lot of times we allow our nether region to run the show, right? Okay. And so you're super attracted, and then you, you, you have all these adrenaline and all these f hormones and stuff going, but you're not actually, you're still like missing getting to know like yeah. the woman, for example, okay? So you have to manage those things. You have to be aware of like, okay, I'm feeling really attracted. Great, that's awesome. But don't jump off a cliff with just the attraction. Right. You have to still like take your time it's like being, a, it's like a little kid, when a little kid's like, oh my God, oh my God, right? And they have a sugar crash, and then they fall. It's the exact same thing people yeah. do with relationships. They're yeah. like, oh my God, oh my God. But they step over <laughs> everything. They miss all these other things where someone's like, hey, you know, my parents had a terrible divorce, and I don't talk to them anymore. You might want to go, okay, so you guys aren't in contact. I mean, that's something, so do you guys talk? Like, is, that's right. something that potentially could impact, right? Yeah. Maybe they're shut down. Maybe they have a crazy fear. And they don't, once they get triggered, they won't talk about it. That's going to be a problem in your relationship. Got it. So yeah. look beyond the physical yes, attraction. Even absolutely. though I do think physical attraction is important. No, it's critical. Look beyond that. Yes. And what it's really going to look like a few months down. Yes. All right, let's talk about the married couples because I've read everywhere that they've really struggled, especially during the pandemic. Yes. Just a quick, quick advice for them. Um, the qu my quick advice would be, first of all, to... Um, Calm down. Both kind of okay. take your sides. Take, mm -hmm. I mean, take your take space and breathe. And then, honestly, like this is an amazing time to really start to tell the truth about everything. But in a place of, I talk about this all the time, love versus fear, from okay. a loving place. It's a t it's time to get raw. It's time to face the d the challenges. Um, it's kind of like if you were in if you were in a closed place, you would really talk. 
Right. You would okay. you would you would stop attacking and you would actually start talking and go, and being accountable for your own stuff. Be accountable for your stuff, like your perspective. Okay. Don't just project it onto the other person. Go, hey, look, this is my perspective. And I'll, granted, maybe we've been married 20 years, but this is my perspective of things. And give them a chance to respond without judging them. Got it. Listen, and go. Okay, let me listen to you newly. Okay, I like. I know I've been listening to you for 20 years, and I think I know who you are, but I'm gonna go. I'm gonna take a, a new approach and be like, Truly you know what? Listen. Yeah, I'm gonna listen to you. Mm -hmm. And respect, like when you can like put the put respect is the f biggest thing. If you don't really respect each other, it's really hard to listen. Got it. Yeah. Well, great advice this morning. Thank you so much, Brad, for yeah. being with us today. Always. Guys, if you need advice <laughs> or some great love coaching, Brad is available for you. Breaking through with Brad.com for more information is that website.